Pretty common mistake I see all the time with amateurs and uh, with my students is that they throw out before the plant has fully hit the ground and the weight has shifted. Now, it may look like this. Now, that was a pretty decent shot because I know how to do it, but if you have this problem, you may see your shots go to the ground, go high to the sky, unintentional anis, late releases, and so on. It causes many problems, and the biggest one is that it lacks power. I have invented a drill for you to get the feeling of the plant hitting the ground and wait, have patience before you start the throw out. But before we get into that, let's see how the goat himself does this. All right, let's take a look at Paul Macbeth on hole number 10, European Open 2019 on the beast. Now let's take a look at the front foot first. Toes first, touch the ground. After that, the heel touches the ground. Super important. You get more time for the weight shift to happen when you do it like this. And he still is coiling back, aka reaching back. Very important. This is the loading phase. Still loading. And take a look at the back leg now. The back leg is lifting off the ground as the front leg hits the ground. Heels down, heel up, heel down, heel up. And the reach back is still going strong. Only after the weight has fully shifted and the back leg is practically weightless, Paul starts to throw. So it takes a lot of patience to wait, 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 wait. Now you can go. And this is what I want to teach you to have the patience to really wait so that the weight shift is done and you can start the throw. Now, if you have had the same problem as most of my students have and most of the amateurs I see on the courses and on practice grounds, you need to learn to have patience. You need to learn how to plant fully before you even think about throwing out. And the way I always teach is that to learn to do something, the throw out, the extension, the plant, you need to learn it by exaggerating. And what I mean by this is that you need to feel the plant coming down and you need to learn to wait. Wait a little bit too long. And only after you have managed that, then you can make it a little bit faster and faster and faster until you find the right timing. Now, this is the drill I call the sweeper. And it goes like this. With only one step, you stride forward with your plant leg and the toes are pointing a little bit diagonally to the back of the tee. Now this will give you some time to actually feel that your toes hit the ground before the heel hits the ground. As your heel hits the ground, you sweep with your toes off the back leg. You do this as long as you need to, to fully get the feeling of the plant leg coming fully to the ground and the weight shifting. You do this and this and this as long as you need to, to get the feeling that you have all the time in the world after your toes of the front foot has hit the ground and the heel has come fully onto the ground and only after that you start to throw. This is super important that you can throw against your leg. If you just throw before, and this happens a lot of the times, you have no support on the ground, you cannot throw against your leg. 
you need to feel a firm plant and then after you have the feeling of time and support then you can start the throw out do this 10 20 times and then you throw and then do again 10 20 times and throw after that you have the feeling of the right timing so that you have the power and control of your throws it may look like this good luck for training <laughs>